problem number 6 from projection of plane so uh, first step is to find out the shape of the plane where it is resting and how it is resting so shape is semi circular thin plate and uh, where it is resting rest on vp and uh, it is resting on its diameter so this three data you need to uh, complete a first position of your plane so for that first of all draw uh, xy line now your diameter is resting on the vp with the 50 mm so first of all you have to draw a 50 mm diameter first and find out its midpoint as well to draw a circle semicircle and complete a semicircle in which a diameter is 50 mm so this is the center point and you have to complete a, um, a semicircle so this semicircle has a diameter of 50 mm so this is its front view because it is resting on the hp you have to start with the front view now uh, as we have already discussed in the previous problem you have to divide this into four equal parts or five, six equal parts whatever you want dividing into this number of parts and write down the names so this is a dash b c d and e now this is the front view you have to draw the top view so for that draw the projections from each and every corner of your plane so you, here we uh, we don't have any corners so we have uh, we have already divide this into some number of parts so this is your top view a straight line so this point is a b this is c and e and this is d point now for the second position the inclination with vp is 30 degree so we are going to use this degree uh, to construct a line at an angle of 30 degree at any suitable distance so this is a 30 degree and this line this distance is 25 because it's a radius of uh, the circle so you can directly draw a 25 mm or 2.5 centimeter line from this point but you don't know the position of c and e so for that just measure a distance of c e from one of the corner so this point is c e like this so this point is a b this is c e and this point is d point now draw the projections vertical projections from the top view to find out a front intermediate position front view draw the projections from initial position like this and then find out the intersecting points so this point is your a dash this is your b dash then c dash d dash and this point is e dash 
now this line is obviously a diameter of the semicircle so it is a straight line and rest of the line should be say the rest of the plane is curve so it is not a exactly a circle so you don't uh, you cannot draw it with the instrument you have to draw it with the free hand because it's not an accurate uh, circular portion it's like a elliptical because if you are observing from the different angles so this angle is 30 degree now the which is inclined so this diameter is inclined at 45 degree with the HP right now it's a 90 degree so we have to make it a 45 degree inclination angle so we can make it at any suitable distance you you have to measure angle of 45 degree and draw a line like this so this angle is 45 you can draw this line on uh, this direction as well okay so right now we have to construct this semicircle or whatever the is elliptical portion of the second position over here so for that we have to just construct this rectangle with the same dimensions of it over here so for that i'll just measure this distance and if i this is my starting point then this is my first edge so I will draw a A dash and B dash over here Before, to draw the rest of the things you have to draw the perpendicular lines from this draw the perpendicular line to construct a rectangle we don't know the dimensions of it yet so we just directly draw a lines and now measuring this distance we need this distance and you have to construct a rectangle from these two points now measure this distance as well from both the corner for, uh, from B so from B you need only one line this vertical line so you need to this you need these three lines so for that we are going to use this A dash line from this so first I construct this word line Now measure this distance from let's say B dash. So this is a B dash point. From B dash, I have measured three different sides. Now draw parallel lines from the corners of the rectangle. find out the intersecting points so this is a B this point is a C dash D dash and E dash now draw a smooth curve passing from this point so I have transfer this at an angle of 45 degree over here so this is my initial position fine uh, intermediate position now to construct a final position we need to uh, make a projection lines from the corners and we are going to use initial intermediate position a and b is already on the xy line 
now find out the inter uh, intersecting points so this is a, a point so we got our a point this point is a b so it is on the x y line so this is my a b this is c so this point is c this is a d point and uh, this is my e point so complete the shape of the top view with the thick line only a b side is a the line a rest of the thing is a curve so this is the top view of the final position so this is a semicircular thin plate in different different positions